Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to introduce the multi-account versions of my Stock and Futures Trading Journal. This trading journal is designed for traders who trade stocks and futures with multiple accounts, allowing them to trade performance and statistics over a period of 12 months and for up to 10 different trading accounts. Traders can view and track the performance and statistics of each individual trading account and a combined summary of all trading accounts. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to set up, input trading data, and analyze the statistics using this trading journal. Before inputting any trading data, head over to the Start tab to set your starting month and year. You can input any month and year and it will list all the 12 months below. Next on the right, input the starting capital for each account. Each account here is linked to its respective tab. For example, account 1 here is linked to the account 1 tab. If you change the name of the account 1 to say TOS, you will need to change the name of account 1 here to TOS as well. You can also put the link to your brokerage website in the blank space here. Next, input the name of your trading strategy. You can input up to 50 trading strategies. If English is not your primary language, you can change some of the keywords in this journal to your own language by replacing the words in the white cells. Once you have finished entering the details in the Start tab, you can start inputting the trading data into the Trading Journal tab. There is a calculator to help you determine your position size based on your net liquidation value and risk percentage per trade. Proper position sizing is crucial for every trade to minimize losses and prevent significant drawdowns in your account. Next, we have the Points and Tip Value table, which include a list of futures products. If the futures product you are trading isn't on the list, you can manually replace some of the symbols and point values with those of your specific futures product. Now let me show you how to input your trading data into the trading journal tab. There are a total of 10 trading journal tabs for you to input the trading data with each tab representing an individual account. Make sure you input the data into the correct tab. You can also hide the trading journal tab if you don't need it. First input the trade number, entry date and time. Select the direction of the trade from the drop-down list and input the number of positions when you open the trade. In the drop-down list under Futures or Stock, choose whether you are trading stocks or futures. Choose the product of the futures you are trading. Then input the ticker. Select the strategy from the drop-down list. Enter the entry price, stock loss, tap profit level and entry commission. The green cells under risk management will show info such as 1R distance, maximum profit, maximum loss, risk percentage per trade, and maximum risk to reward ratio once you have input the trade details into the open position column. After you close the trade, just input the trade details such as exit date and time, exit position, exit price, and exit commission. If you exit the position in multiple points, you can input out to 3 exit positions and exit prices here. Enter the first, second, and third exit positions and exit prices into the respective columns. It will calculate the average exit price of the trade. If you exit the trade at just one exit point, you can ignore the exit position and exit price, two and three columns, and hide them. The net quantity column will show a zero value after you have fully exited the trade. After inputting the closing position details, the green cells on the right will show you important trade statistics such as total trade duration, R multiple, profit and loss, cumulative PL, account balance after each trade, percentage gain or loss, account drawdown. You can also put a remark and screenshot in the columns here as well. If you have any funds deposit or withdrawal, you can input the details into this trading journal. First, under the track number, input a dash sign so that it will not be counted as a track. Then input the deposit or withdrawal date. After that, under the deposit or withdrawal column, input the amount of money deposited or withdrawn. Remember to put a minus sign in front of the amount if you withdraw money from the account. All the details you input into the trading journal will be auto-populated in the summary tab. In this trading journal, you can generate both weekly and monthly reports to analyze trading performance on a weekly and monthly time frame. In the top left corner, select your account name from the drop-down list. You can choose either an individual account or all account. Then select the week number or month you want to view from the drop-down list. 
and it will list all the tracks you have taken during the selected week or month. This weekly or monthly report will show a summary of your trading account such as starting and ending capital, profit and loss, win rate, arm multiple and expectancy per trade. If you scroll to the right, there are graphs and charts showing the account balance, total P&L by ticker, strategy performance, cumulative P&L and account drawdown. You can also analyze the performance of each individual trading strategy by using the strategy dashboard and strategy statistic tab. It allows you to know which strategy is performing and determine which may need improvement. The way to generate a strategy report is similar to a weekly or monthly report. First select the account name, then select the strategy from the drop down list. After that, it will show all the tracks taken using the selected strategy as well as summary and statistics such as profit and loss, average win and loss, largest win and loss, win rate, R multiple and expectancy per trade. The charts on the right will show P&L of each ticker when trading using the selected strategy. If you want to do a more detailed analysis, for example P&L when trading using the selected strategy on a particular stock, you can click on the filter sign under the ticker column uncheck all the ticker and choose the ticker you want to analyze. It will show the statistic of that particular ticker. The strategy statistic tab allows you to know the best performing and worst performing strategies and compare the performance of each strategy within the 12 month periods in terms of R multiple. Besides the strategy report, traders can also analyze the statistic based on the ticker. Simply select the ticker name from the drop down list and it will show all the tracks taken associated with the selected ticker in the table below. It will show you the summary and statistics such as total profit and loss, average win and loss, largest win and loss, maximum consecutive win and losses, win rate, total R multiple, and expectancy per trade. You can also view the P&L of each strategy when trading a particular ticker through the bar charts on the right. Finally, the most important part of this trading journal is the main trading dashboard, which gives you a comprehensive overview of your trading activity over the period of 12 months. In the top left corner above, select either an individual account or all account which shows a combined view of all account. It shows you the overall account summary such as account starting capital, account balance, total P&L, account return percentage, as well as statistics such as average win and average loss. There is a table here showing your 12 monthly track statistics such as profit and loss, R multiple, winning track, losing track, and break even track. The graph here shows your account balance, account drawdown, and cumulative P&L. When you select all accounts, it will show the data of each individual account in the graph. The charts here show monthly performance in terms of profit and loss, winning trade and losing trade, and performance in terms of R multiple. It also shows performance by ticker as well as performance by strategy. In my opinion, using a trading journal is essential for traders of all levels to record, keep track of, and analyze their trading activities and performance. It helps them review their tracks in order to improve their trading performance and achieve their trading goals. Thanks for watching until the end. Do check the links in the description or comment section below to find out more about this trading journal. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.